Hello and welcome to Discover Figures in Women's History using Britannica School or Britannica Library. I'm Linda Heimberger, the Electronic Resources Training and Outreach Coordinator for DISCUS, South Carolina's Virtual Library. This webinar will be packed with great tips for locating historical and contemporary figures in women's history. So let's go ahead and get started. From the scdiscus.org site, you can go to the A to Z resources list and quickly find Britannica Library and Britannica School. Britannica Library is primarily used by our public libraries in South Carolina. You will be able to find the Browse Biography tool in both the Young Adults module and the Reference Center module. And it looks like this. You'll also be able to find this Biography Browse in the Britannica School version of the software for middle school and high school. So let's go ahead and start with a general search. Let's say you or your person that you are helping in the library um, already knows the name of a person they want to search upon. So if we look for uh, Harriet Tubman, for instance, maybe we're doing a unit uh, in history here, um, we can go directly out easy to do direct search on mobile devices or on wired computers or laptops and what you'll find here is there are several reading levels we are in the level three there's a level two and a level one uh, that you can also adjust that scalable reading level you're also able to view any of the videos that are embedded in the article you can easily cite the sources of of these um, articles with MLA citation or APA citation there. And you can use any of these other tools to be able to send to if you want to send this out to a link to email, Google Classroom, Google Drive, or Microsoft Teams there. You have all of those options available to you. And you'll also find there's a double click dictionary that's available. So if I'm reading, uh, let's say at the middle school level here, and I do not know what the word abolitionist means, I can simply double click on a word and it will provide the uh, Merriam Webster dictionary definition for me there. Let's say that uh, you have a student or a, a patron who is looking for other people who are abolitionist and maybe they only know about Harriet Tubman but they need a list of additional ones perhaps you uh, you want them to report out on different uh, abolitionists that were female they you can simply go then to the uh, Britannica school homepage there go down to biographies and look in the biography browse here so you can tell on the far left that you can limit to females there on the left for our women's history piece here you can also limit by era time period nationality cultural association and what the person would be known for so a student could uh, simply type the letter a for abolition and scroll through and each one of these categories visual arts entertainment history etc is going to anchor you to those that start with an a so under history and society it anchors us to abolitionism which is very convenient here notice it filters us now to just those female abolitionists that are in the database so we have um, in addition to miss tubman we also have um, eight other women that we can now locate and find a list for. So let's say that um, you uh, run a search on one level of Botanica and you retrieve no results. Let's say you're looking for uh, um, well, in, in the current news, perhaps you want to find women uh, who are in Ukraine or Ukrainian women. So you could actually clear all of your filters here on the left, click on women and type in, begin to type Ukraine for Ukrainian here. 
Notice in the middle school level, there are no biographies that match your search here. So it's worth a try to change the level and search again. So you could simply go back to the Britannica School landing page and move to search high here, conduct this a similar search uh, where we would choose uh, Ukrainian here and limit to female. And notice we do have results. So it's always good to look at all of your options there because uh, you might still be able to locate uh, some women um, in one of the other levels of uh, for the research. And notice I have Oksana Bayul here, the skater. I can go down now to level two and be able to read it uh, in the at the level two reading. So it's always worth a try uh, to see how else you might locate it in the um, in the uh, Britannica library you could do the same if you are in uh, one of the modules there and you want to just check it out in the reference center uh, module to see what's available that's always a good thing to try uh, perhaps you're wanting to find out, uh, let's say a patron in your library is studying Greece and Rome in school and they need to report on a Roman female figure. Maybe it's not someone so contemporary as what we've looked at so far. You can actually adjust by era there. You can choose the nationality there. Um, let's say, uh, actually, you can also use the little... Uh, are here to quickly get to Roman. So if you're looking for Roman women there um, and you want to limit that search, um, you can do that as well. So limit to Roman females. And now you have a list of uh, women in the Roman Empire that were known for various things. What if you're wondering if any women have won a Nobel Prize for medicine? You can also go back, clear all your filters, choose your female, and you can actually type in uh, the letter N. And, oh, I'm sorry, I have it in the wrong window here. Let me go down one, one window. Known for, you can type in the letter N. And you can look for Nobel Prizes related to Nobel Peace, economics there. Continue to scroll down alphabetically until we see the Nobel Prize for Medicine. So we still have it limited to our females here and we're able to find uh, those uh, 10 or 11 results of women who are known for having won a Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine. So these have all kinds of applications for looking for historical figures of uh, women in science and medicine uh, and, and, and history. So again, you can always do uh, that direct search. So whether or whether you are in um, whether you are in uh, whichever module of your Britannica here, if we wanted to look up Ruth Bader Ginsburg for a co uh, a very current topic uh, for research, as you see here, you are also able to view the videos again here as we mentioned and view the video transcript as that video plays a look back ruth bader ginsburg supreme court justice ginsburg was nominated to the supreme court of the united states by president bill clinton on and you're also able to uh, toggle on or off the closed captions or make the full screen available to you there. Many of them are downloadable as well. So perhaps you're wanting to expand that search and find out who are some other American women in government. You can actually do that by just simply returning again to your browse. Um, and we'll go quickly here and to the reference center and go into our biography browse here and we can 
choose women who are known for their work in government and will filter to women. Notice though, we were looking for women who were, were American women or related to America. Notice the first two results that we get here. We have a British politician. We have um, others who were related to uh, in other countries. So if you want to narrow that to just American women, you can also uh, narrow by nationality here. So we could just uh, simply reduce that uh, filter to American women who are in, had roles in government there. And you can continue to browse across the bottom for that piece. So one more search that we'll do as an as a other example is let's say uh, you're you're wanting to research. I want to clear all filters. You're wanting to research uh, women who are known as first ladies in history, and you can either, as I said before, scroll down through the subjects of education, history, etc., and look for that, or you can simply um, type in the letter F here. And notice we have first lady right here. So we can search on first ladies um, in uh, American history. But let's say you want them for a particular time period. We have the most recent one, Jill Biden here, but let's say you only want those that uh, were prior to 1900. You can also go ahead and continue to um, narrow that way if you're if you're wanting to get a little more specific there so as you can see there are lots of different ways to narrow your searches to uh, view and utilize the articles and videos that are here and uh, you are always welcome to ask me uh, any questions if you have questions about this session i'm going to go ahead and pull our PowerPoint back into play here. Uh, you're also welcome to give us discus training feedback on this session today. And uh, we always welcome that. This We are partially funded by uh, the Institute of Museum and Library Services grant uh, through the Library Services and Technology Act. So we do appreciate your feedback there. We also appreciate your feedback so that we can get ideas of what types of training uh, you would like to see in the future. But my contact information here uh, you're welcome to email me or ask any questions about this session. And we thank you all for joining us today.